everyone and welcome back to my channel. Now I'm going to show you how to start an oval rug. I've been asked by quite a few people how do you actually start the oval rug. They didn't quite understand the way I showed you on the round rug video. And I'm going to do a few question and answers as well that I've been asked. Now I bought this. Now the picture I showed you on the round rug, there is a smaller hank than this. Now this is another one that I got. This was £3.75, believe it or not, that's all it was. Now if you put that together with a 100 gram ball of yarn that was only 99 pence, £4.75 for a big rug. And that is absolutely amazing value. Now, this one, I got this one from B&M Bargains, the same place as I got my other rope. I still have a little bit of the other rope left, as you can see. Now, this will make quite a large rug. Now, I don't know how to measure mine for you because it depends on the tension that you're using to put your stitches on. Depends on the rope that you buy, the thickness of rope you buy. And you'll just have to adjust it to the rope that you have and the yarn that you're using. Now, the rope, I'm going to put that aside. Now, to do the oval version of the rug that I've already showed you. I've got my hook, I've got my rope, I've got my yarn, my yarn's here and I've also got a few little ends of yarn. You're going to need that to tie it into the oval shape to begin with. Now we're going to start this just the same way that we did with the round rug. Just need to tie it on here just tie it on to the end like that now I've got my yarn here and my hook like I've said any hook any hook that's comfortable for you if the, the hook's too big just use a different hook use a smaller hook I can't tell you what size of hook to use because I don't know what rope you've got. Even if you tell me how thick it is, I'm still not really going to know because I'm not working with it. Now, you experiment. Use a hook. If it's not comfortable, use a different one. Use a bigger or a smaller one. Now, we've got our end tied on. Put your hook to the back and just bring your yarn around to the front like this. Now put your yarn over your hook and pull it through around your rope to the front over your yarn and pull it through. Pull these stitches to the end now you don't need to have your stitches all bunched up. At the beginning, yes, but after that you can put them about a half an inch or so or even an inch apart. You don't need to have them so many that you can't actually see the rope you're using unless that's what you actually want. Now we're going to do this little chain around the rope Enough so that we can fold it like this. So around we go. Just like we did with the round rug. And you can make it as big as you want. When you've run out of rope and you still want to make it bigger, then just add another piece on and start doing the same thing around and around. And it doesn't matter when you fold it either. Just do it when it's you feel that it's big enough. 
for what you want to start it with. Obviously, the longer you make this part, the more of an oval you're going to get. So I would suggest that you do this to at least maybe 12 inches and then fold it in half. If not more. Oops. So if you do your chain on maybe about 12 inches or so, and then we're going to fold it like this. I'm going to do a little bit more because I'm going to make a nice oval rug for Muttley. Muttley loves lying on these rugs. And I want one that I can sit outside and he can lay in it. And he's got somewhere other than the grass to lay on. Okay, now I'm going to make my stitch quite big. And then keep it out of the way. Now what we're going to do is we're going to half the part that we've already done. Make sure your chain is on the ends, on the outside, like this. Make sure your chain is running around the outside. Now get one of your little pieces and what we're going to do is we're going to tie this closed. Just tie it closed, put that there, not very good at this doing it with one hand. It doesn't matter if you're left with a tail end, you can just stitch that in when we go around and around. Now tie it in, make sure your chain goes to the outside. Now I'm going to tie up another section. You can stitch it if you want. You can stitch it with a darning needle if you want. It's up to you. I'm going to tie this last piece on here at the end. Wrap it around. Tie it down. Just move my knot near the end. Got my scissors. I'm going to trim them just a little bit. So there we go, I've got it tied and I've still got my chain running around the edge. Don't worry about them, they'll get lost inside once we've done this. Now all we're going to do, I may need a few more stitches on this length. 
So I've put a few more stitches in and now I'm going to make it go around here like this. We'll move the chain up around there. Now just as in the round rug, move that to the end a little bit. Now just the same as in the round rug, you're going to put your hook through your chain that's on this one and pull your yarn round and stitch it over like this. Try to pull it tight. You can put more than one stitch into the same space. And then move along a little bit and do another one. Keep going through that chain like we did with the round rug. It's a little bit fiddly to begin with, just like the round run was until we get going. So go through that chain on that one, around your rope on your next round. So go through the chain, there's your chain there, and this is what we're going through. Go through the chain, just push your hook through that yarn chain that you made, and wrap it around your top piece of rope. Through there, and around. Space your stitches out about a half inch apart. You don't want too many on it, especially if you've got coloured rope. You don't want to lose the colour of your rope, unless that's what your intention is. You don't have to do thousands and thousands of stitches so that you can hide the rope. If you have a rope that's coloured already, it doesn't really matter if you can see the rope. It's a little bit fiddly just until you get it started. Just make sure you go through both parts of that stitch and bring it around. So we're going through the stitches that are here on this. You can see it when I pull it apart where we're going through and around now I've done a few more rounds and that is how you make your rug in an oval shape just keep going around and around and around you can take your time a little bit more than I have now you don't need to keep your stitches really, really close together. They can be about half an inch apart. They don't need to be really, really close. And when you're putting your new round on, make sure it's directly on top of your other one. Keep laying it flat. Now, the rope is only encased in the yarn. It still has movement, as you can see. So if it starts to come up like this, like a bow, just push it back down, manipulate it around, and if all else fails, put it on the ground and stand on it and shuffle it because as you shuffle it you can see the rope moving around your rope will move into place I've got a little kink here but it's just where I've tied that little joint I should have tied it down there a little bit more but practice makes perfect so just wriggle it around your rope 
as you can see, has got a lot of movement and it should stay flat. Once you've got it finished, if you put it on the ground like trample and shuffle, shuffle, shuffle around anti-clockwise on it, that'll help your rope to be pushed around inside and it should solve the bowling effect when it goes up like this. If it stays up there, then you've just done it too tight. You've pulled your rope round too tight. Don't pull that rope. Don't pull it tight. Just keep it nice and loose. Nice and loose. And that will help it to stay in the proper position. So when, when you're putting your yarn on, don't pull that, don't pull it, you don't, don't do that. Just keep it nice and loose and wrap your yarn around. Just hold it gently, hold it gently here, don't pull it too, don't pull the rope tight. If you pull that rope tight, you're going to pull it and that's what's going to make it move up like that. You don't want that. Leave it nice and slack and that will stay around where it's supposed to stay. Just like that. And that is how you do your oval rug. Now when you're finishing it, when you come to the end, just do what I did with the other one. Just put a few stitches around your end or you can if you want use a darning needle and then just just singe your end to hold it in place just like we did with the round one and that is how you do an oval rug. I'll show you my rug that I've made already. I'll show you a picture of it. So I hope this helps you to do an oval shape. Just don't, <laughs> don't do what I did there. But as you can see, once I've manipulated that a little bit, that'll look fine anyway. That'll be fine. Don't worry about that little bit. Just make sure when you do that end, don't tie it too tight. I've tied it a little too tight there. But then if it's just for Muttley to lie on when he's outside, then, then that's perfect. If you have any other questions on doing these rugs, leave a little comment down in the bottom. Leave a comment for me and I will read it. I will read it and I'll do my best to answer it. So thank you very much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Please hit that subscribe button. And there is a little notification bell there as well. If you click on that, then you will be notified of any new tutorials that I place. Now I hope this helps to answer how to do it in an oval shape. Just don't tie it too tight. Don't tie it too tight there. So until the next time, Happy crafting and I'll see you all again soon. Goodbye.